Right guys, sun's shining, just wind's blowing, just, uh, and I am joined by a special guest, Chris Ryan, yeah, Chris Ryan Golf. How are you? Very good. We are at the Belfry, we are playing the back nine of the Brabazon. Uh, we do a little match play in three parts. If you haven't seen part one, go to Chris's channel and check out part one there where we play 10, 11, 12. Um, on my channel here, we are going to play 13, 14 and 15. And we are stood on 13 to 10. The sun's come out for your channel. Sun has come out for my <laughs> it channel. It was cold and grey and windy at moment. And as soon as it gets to your channel, the it's sunny. The sun's come out. Hopefully the sun's come out. That means the sun's dirty. Good. Yeah. Um, right, so stay tuned and catch part two. And uh, let's see if I can pull back um, this tiny deficit. Right, I'm hitting three iron. Right, 13 to two. Chris is out with the three iron. There's a bunker up there which is 260, which I can't reach. So okay. I can just hopefully hit it out there. And it won't go in. A plan. Perfect. Perfect. Smash it down the middle. All right. Driver? Driver's out. Do you need to go a slightly different line for me? Yeah, I'm going to go right half of that bunker on okay. the right side. Yeah, I'm going to go right half of that bunker on the right side. That's a good line. Should be good. Yeah, that's perfect. That's A1. That. Spot on. Couldn't place it any better than that way. Good yeah. drive. Take that 300 yard bunker out of the way. Right, so Chris's strategy of hit three iron, hard as it can, take those bunkers at play. Um, just survives because he is about two yards inside the line of that bunker which he wanted like, to uh, take out. Back the wind in. Smash this three iron about 264. Uh, what have you got in mate? 135 and I've got a little wedge. I'm just going to try and let the wind push it to the right. It's a lovely strike. Wind's not touched it though. Yeah, just stay there. It's pin eye, isn't it? Yeah, it's pin just... eye, lovely strike, good number. Yeah. Yeah. The wind was definitely yeah. there, so I must Wind was there, <laughs> and our flag's just dropped as well. Yeah, we'll blame that. Right, how far have you got, Jed? Got 111. Just managed to lay it up short of this. Yeah, it's a good drive here. Yeah. Just in the semi rough, which yeah. hopefully won't make no, a massive it's difference. It's quite nice as well. Just give it a little easy gat wedge. All take that aim. Pretty good. Touch so right, but that's okay. Yeah. That's alright. Yeah. Touch right, club was good. Wind, got it a Wind bit. pushed that one, didn't it? Yeah. That's not bad though. That's not bad. It's not the longest hole this uh, 13th. It's just uh, normally a decent drive and a short iron in. But the green is quite tricky, as hopefully you'll see when we get up there. Okay, so this is where Jed's ball finished. So, just finished a bit right the flag and uh, so he's just repaired his pitch mark about pin high, but it's just rolled through into this little sort of first cut, if you like, here. So he's got the putter. Pretty smart choice. He's only got about a foot to go through before he's on the green. So. And that is a good putt. Yeah, good touch on there, mate. Well done. Didn't did it really. It was online. Didn't need much more. Into the wind as well, a little bit. Yeah. Probably slowed it up a little bit. Good, good putt. So Chris is a great shot, he's hole high, so the wind didn't really affect it. So it's about 22 to 25 feet. So the wind is it's fairly strong, so it's to the roll. So 
a lovely stroll. Oh! I can't believe that didn't fall far on the edge there. Even the wind didn't affect it. That was quick. Mm. Real good. It's a beautiful stroke. And it's trundled on. Yeah. A good five and a half feet too. Yeah, well done. Great show. Thank you. I'll give you that, Jeff. I'll just let you lock it in there. That's good. Cheers, you got me, sorry. Good, well done. Two fours, yeah. Right, so I've got four iron. Okay. Yeah, it feels like it's ticked off the right now, doesn't it? It now feels, now that we stood on the tape, it feels stronger than yeah. it did sort of maybe 60 seconds ago. What are these par threes? Are 230 yards? 232, 193. Played into the wind, so they're all play, both playing over 200. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nice well, tough today. We are right off the backs though, aren't we, today? We're playing we are. The, the rider cup tees. So you're going same as that middle of the green, let the wind yeah. turn it back. That's the plan. Okay, it's all right, wind's got it. Okay, it's all right, just left the green. Just might have caught at the edge of it, we'll see. Over a That's not too bad. Wind grabbed it a well, a little bit. Right, so not bad really. Missed the green a little bit left. Yeah, not too bad. But not bad really. Again, you got a bit yeah. of green to work with, haven't you? Yeah, a little bit of green to work with. Um, almost, if you could say, a flat spot. It's a little bit of a flat spot to pitch it into. So, plenty of loft here, 58 degrees. Yeah, I mean, you can't put much spin in it from that light, can you? No. So, you just got to. Tell me what you got, land it on the green there, Ryan. I think you take that from there, will you? I think you take that. Good up and down. Another 500 goes, I still take that one, I think. Perfect, so right, we'll give you that one, mate. Cheers, mate. So far. Right, so Chris has hit a great shot and carried it probably about five or six yards beyond the flag when we come up, repairing the pitch mark. It's just released onto the very back edge. So it putters out, so sensible shot. Only just on the back edge, so just get it rolling nicely and as quickly as he can. Not a bad effort from there. Really, really. Yeah, not a bad effort at all from there. A bit right, I didn't see that. Difficult one to judge as you're coming out of there. Six foot swing on this one. Unlucky. 
Bit thought you'd hold line. her as well. Take it away. Bit hard on that line. Yeah. Thought you'd hold that one. So back, back to, to one. 15th. Par five. First par five? Yeah. Let's play five. 65 yards. 565 yards. So wind's a bit off the right. It's a pretty straight hole, but there's quite a few bunkers off the tee. Uh, there's a bit of water that runs across about halfway down the hole. And the green's got three levels to it, so it's quite tricky. So Jed's got the on now. And that's pretty good. That's up the middle of the fairway. Nice shot, mate. Great strike. You know, just nicely up the right side. Perfect angle. Perfect angle. Okay, so Jed's got a second shot here. He's got three wood. There's a bunker right the way down there, which is sort of out of range because it's pretty much into the wind now. So I think it's just going to be a case of taking out that bunker. So is it a good tee shot? It's just falling into the sort of semi-rough, but it's actually not too bad with a meet and a three wood. It probably gets that ball sitting up a little bit better for him. Perfect. Right in the middle of that bunker. That should be spot on. Yeah, good shot, mate. Perfect. Good shot. Oh. Right, little bit unlucky, mate. Just Gotta go up. Gotta go up. Yeah, he's run. Gotta go up. He's ran, it's a great drive, a little bit unlucky, it's ran just through the right hand side of the fairway and it's halfway up this embankment of the bunker. So block that a little bit, what have you got mate, just iron over the top? I've got nine, just need to get it up over those trees really, so... Beautiful. That was awesome. Gonna have a lot of choice then. Yeah. Up and over. Little draw. Well done. Great job. Right now, what have you got? 125. But you might be not going to be able to see it from here, but that's three yeah. tier green. Yeah. That's on the back tier, which is basically about the size of a hole. Okay. So, so <laughs> the landing zone is about a frying pan. The landing zone is the hole. So basically, <laughs> if you're on that back tier, you're in the hole. You're in the so, hole. So he's made three. So he's jammed it for eagle. So middle tier is not yeah. the end of the world, but okay. I'm going to try and push it onto that back tier. So I'm going to try and play a slightly lower flighting shot with a wedge and see if I can get it back there. But it's quite small. Lovely strike, just drawing in. Yeah. Well, you're on that tier by the look of it. Think probably in the middle one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice strike, nice shot. Yeah, I tried to play a low one, but it's really cool. 90 yards, did you say? 90 yards in, yeah. Okay. We're going to hit a little bit down with a gap wedge back into the wind. Similar to what I was trying to do, fly to be lower. Yeah, just trying to keep it a little yeah. bit lower. So it's a tough one to get close to that is really but it's all right it's not it's online isn't it just yeah. probably not going to go up on top back tier that's fine middle tier is absolutely fine Right, so Chris is just on the very edge there, right on the very fringe. Put her out. We've got middle tier, so just needing to put it up this tier, getting the speed right onto this very small shelf in the back. Didn't need much more, mate. Did not.
Good. A bit more speed. Thank you very much for the speed. Fair bit of swing on that, to be fair, for right. a shortish putt. Yeah. Right, so Jed's got this to pull it back to all square. It's one of them now, and watch my putt come up and not swing as much, and then watch yours hmm. massively. On that line. Little firm on that line. Too firm. That's good, mate. You can have that one. Right. right, guys, that's the end of part two. So, pull one, one back. Pull one back. Pull one back. back. Should have all missed it. Should have held that foot on the last day to get it back to more square. But still, so Chris still one up going into the final part. So, go to Chris's channel where part three is going to be to see if I can manage to keep this coming back going. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Chris's details are in the links below there. So again, subscribe to the channel, follow him on all the social medias. Everything's in the description there. So make sure you go and check that out as well. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Cheers, guys.